What's this? Cruise drops out. Bye, Felicia. <laughs> oh, wait. That means we're stuck with Trump now. <laughs> so ratchet. Hey, what do you think, Abe? Me too. Hey, Bay. You gotta come see this. Hey, who's there? Joseph Robinette Biden. You better not be playing with the lights. Mr. President, I come to you on behalf of my generation to talk to you about this little plant situation. See, a lot of politicians hate it, but I'm going to break it down and demonstrate to you why it's not as bad as they make it sound. So you're the president that I believe can handle this. Heck, your campaign slogan was, yes, we can. Hey, hey, hey. Just kidding, but seriously, let's examine this subject truthfully, dog. Look, see, you taught constitutional law at Harvard, right? In 96, well, you should know the Declaration of Independence was drafted out of hemp. So was the flag. So were the sails that pushed our ships on the path to the colonies. So was the fuel used for Henry Ford's Model T. So in a sense, you could say that pot has actually driven American history. <laughs> Please, it makes you lazy and underachieved. But how can that be when some of the most successful people smoke weed from Walt Disney to Milton Free? From Stephen King to Steve Jobs, the apple didn't fall, fall from the tree, you get it? Steve Jobs, apple, trees, Jobs created the apple computer, high off weed. See, people believe that this plan is sinful. But let's go back in time and find out exactly where these beliefs came from. Cause before the 1930s, you could blaze up. But after the 1930s, things changed up. Cause that's when President Hoover commissioned a man named Harry J. Anslinger as head of the Federal Bureau of Narcotics. His middle name's ironic, cause he was the main guy attempting to demonize marijuana. Um, I mean cannabis sativa. See the name marijuana, he created as propaganda for the people to make it sound more dirty. And a little more evil, he figured if he could scare the public enough, they would want it illegal. He teamed up with newspapers who had their own motivations. Like what? Google Decorticator. The newspapers printed fake stories about how every puff destroys your brain, making you crazy insane, prone to murder and rape. They use race and then said again that we makes white women want to get pregnant by Negroes and immigrant Mexicans. And based off of no research or investigation, Congress rubber stamped that legislation and then poof, there was a law around it. So we accepted it and never thought about it. But let's get smart about it. Lies and greed are the real reasons that it's illegal and the reason you got that look on your face when I talk about it. <laughs> Mr. E, marijuana's illegal for public health reasons. We don't want the American people breathing that stuff in and smoking it. Ain't nothing wrong with a little game day buzz. But marijuana is a dangerous, useless gateway drug. And you want me to legalize so that the kids can get it easier? <laughs> well, what can I say? Either that's something to laugh at, or bro, you're more of a jackass than Kanye. A jackass? Okay. How about we talk about this rationally? See, every six seconds a person dies from tobacco and every 13 from alcohol. Really? Guess how many died in the last 10,000 years uh, from I weed? I you're gonna tell me. None at all. A zip zero nada, no chance to overdose. Not one case in history, and no, I'm not blowing smoke. Don't be a coward, just regulate and control it. Take the power from the drug dealers who contaminate, sell it, and own it. See, they love the laws, how they all because they make millions. When drug lords support your laws, it's time to amend them. As for the kids, yeah, I'd agree, except, except what? it's easier for kids to buy weed than to buy beer or cigarettes. Is that surprising? Uh, a little Think bit. about it, sir. How many drug dealers you know ask to see ID? Uh, and stop saying it's a gateway drug, something so strong that you can't break away from. Big homie, listen, quit being a politician. Studies show it's not addictive, and the gateway theory is a lot of fiction, a contradiction, and you can quote me on it. You said marijuana was a useless drug? Hold up a moment. Medical tests and evidence show it's proven to treat glaucoma, cancer, asthma, multiple sclerosis. It could do so much if it was legal. But if it was legal, a lot of pharmaceutical drugs wouldn't be needed. I did my research and it seems that what? So what did you find? Big Pharma gave you millions of dollars. So if we became legal, they would lose a lot of profit and you would lose funding. So tell me, Mr. Presidential, is it really public health or is it special interest? Are you worried about the kids or the private businesses? Only a few years back, you was against lobbying and corporate robbery. You can't plan for change. Well, damn it, now demonstrated in policy. The war on drugs has been an utter failure. 
Uh, and I think that we need to rethink and decriminalize uh, our, uh, our marijuana law. Cause if you really want to stimulate the economy and mitigate the problems that emanate from poverty, it's time to legalize this billion dollar commodity. Uh, Harvard professor Jeffrey Myron estimated nine billion dollars generated in taxes from regulation, plus another 11 will be saved from law enforcement resources and incarceration. That's 20 billion total every year. You saying this country don't need that kind of paper? Put it towards environment, invest in education. Education, infrastructure in conjunction with job creation Or maybe a combination Just stop laughing at the situation And give it serious consideration It ain't a joke, ain't nothing funny The country's broke and its people need money It's simple economics Uh, listen You did it, Bush did it, Clinton did it, Lincoln did it And now you throw people in prison for this crime that we committed Mr. President, if it's such a sin then why don't you and the men I just named turn yourselves uh, in? But, 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 huh. I beg your pardon? See, I don't wanna hear that circular logic. We ain't in that Oval Office. Let's be honest. If you got caught with marijuana the day you smoked, there wouldn't even be an Obama. No Barack at that prestigious college or Harvard getting his speeches polished with honors. Cause today, you can't get a student loan if caught with one weed cigarette. But you can have a rape conviction on your record and still get a check. Get a check. From the government? Yo, what the fuck is this? Do you not see injustice when it's people suffering sick, dying of cancer, whose only relief is a plant proving to ease pain? But that don't mean handcuffs. That don't mean being called a criminal. That don't mean thrown behind bars. Pitiful. Mr. President, this ain't political. It's commonsensical. Millions in prison for something that's never killed a single individual. But you make deals with prescription drug advocates When just last year more Americans died from prescriptions in their cabinets Than heroin, terrorism, murder, and traffic accidents combined Mr. President, open your eyes and see the blood on the wall These companies wouldn't care if the country was coming apart They sharks, they only care about how much it'll cost Ain't been a disease cured in 60 years Why? A patient cured is a customer loss Well I say enough is enough It's time for us to fix this It's time to get away from the pharmaceutical interest Forget about the stigma Forget the opinions of politicians Cause collective ignorance don't mean wisdom Forget about pandering to the system Cause when the system's wrong sir It's your duty to go against it I urge you to reread that Ninth Amendment And have courage and conviction And remember your commitment to the people Cause what if it was Malia? What if she needed a drug that was illegal to survive? Will things change? Will they be a little different? Will policy remain? Put yourself in that position and nah, I'm not wishing that on you, just illustrating the consequences of this little plant situation cause a lot of politicians hate it. But I just broke it down. It's up to you to step up, sir. The time is now. I say the time is now. I hope you step up, sir. The time is now. There's still time. Huh. Just a dream. So believe it or not, before I wrote that song, I was anti-marijuana. I'm still not a big smoker, nor would I ever advocate people to smoke. But after I did the honest research, it became clear that our marijuana laws were created on the basis of racism and corporate greed. And these laws are more dangerous than marijuana itself. I wrote this song four years ago, and in the last four years, a lot of things have changed. But marijuana still remains a Schedule One drug, which means it is in the same classification as heroin and labeled as having no medical benefit. See, this message is not for Obama, it's for the people, because only the people, when educated, can truly make change. So please, share this video and help spread awareness. Peace and love.